Hello everyone, my name is Akirele Olua Shogo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a macro in Excel. How to use a macro in Excel. So the question is, what is a macro? So a macro is used to automate tasks in Excel. We use macro to automate tasks that you do manually in Excel. So you can record any of the tasks that you do frequently in Excel and you assign a code to the macro so you can make your work faster when you are doing the same task frequently. So today I'm going to teach you how to record a macro. You can also write the code instead of recording by using something we call VBA which is called Visual Basic Application. But today I'll be teaching you how to use macros. We are going to record those steps that we do in Excel and we are going to play those steps again. So today we are going to record the macro that format phone numbers. A macro that format phone numbers. Now when you type your phone number in Excel, phone number or account number, Excel will take the first zero away. Let me type my phone number now. You will see what I'm talking about. If I type phone number and I press enter, you can see the first zero is taken away. So we are going to record a macro that will bring the first zero back. So that whenever we have phone number, that is zero is taken away. So we can use our macro to format that phone number by bringing the leading zero. So when you are going to use your macros, you have to make sure that you have the developer tab, a developer tab. By default, your developer tab is not checked. It's not come out by default. All you need to do, if you are going to bring it out, is to right click on any of the developer tab. You right click and you see, you right click on any of the tab, you see some, a button called customize the ribbons. When you click on customize the ribbons, so it will take you to the customize ribbon dialog box. So we have our customized dialog box. So here we are going to we are going to check the developer tab. By default, it's on check. So you check the developer tab and you click on OK. When you click on OK, you can see your developer tab. It will come up. So you can see your developer tab is up. So click on the developer tab. When you click on the developer tab, you will see a group called code, and under the group call code and you see a command called record macro so click on the record macro when you click on the record macro so we it will bring out the record macro dialog box and you are going to assign a name to your macros and we are going to call our macro format phone number so we are going to when you are typing the name you must type it all together you can see there is no space between the text we are going to type it together. We are also going to assign a shortcut to our macro. So that shortcut, I'm going to include shift with it. So I'm using Control Shift N to differentiate from our normal Control N because if I use Control N as my macro shortcut, that shortcut won't be available in Excel again. So you need to use Shift to differentiate this in the macro shortcut from our preview shortcut in Excel. So uh, we have stop macro in the three places where you can store your macro. We have your mac personal macro workbook, we have new workbook, and we have this workbook. But I'm going to store this macro inside this workbook. Inside this workbook. So we also have your description. You can describe all the steps we are going to take to record the macro. But for the sake of this example, I'm skipping all those steps. So I will click on my OK. So when you are recording your macros, you must make you must click on use relative references so that your macro can work in all the cell and all the columns of the Excel. Because by default, macro use absolute cell references. If you use absolute cell references, if I record the macro on H4. That the macro will only be available on cell H4. So we are going to use relative references so that your macro can be applicable in all the cell of Excel and all the column too. So when you are recording your macro, you must be mindful of the movement of your mouse. Be 
careful with the movement of your mouse. So now I will go to, I want to format the phone number by bringing out the leading zero. All I need to do, I click on the phone number, I will right click on the phone number. So I will right click, when I right click, you will see a button called format cell. Click on the format cell. When you click on the format cell, you see the format cell dialog box. So you click on custom. So you click, when you click on custom, you look at the sample, the phone number that you want to format. So you click on the zero under general. So after you have clicked on the zero under general, you see a box called type. There's one zero there before. So you add 10 zero to that zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you add 10 zero to that zero, you can see your, your leading zero is back. So you click on OK. So when you click on your OK, you can see your zero is back. So I've recorded all those steps now. I've recorded all those steps of formatting. All I need to do is to go to my macro and click on Stop Recording the Macro. So I've stopped recording the macro. So now, if I now have the situation where I have the phone numbers without the first leading zero, so instead of going through that step of right clicking, clicking on custom, adding things zero, I don't have to go through that step. So I can use my control shift N, which I've assigned to my macro. So all I need to do now is to select all the phone number that I want to format. Because I've recorded those steps before, I can go to my macros dialog box and I will tell Excel that run this macro for me. When I click on run the macro, you can see it will bring out the four zero out. You can see the zero is out. All the zeros are out. So let's do it here. So here, too, if I want to format the phone number, instead of going through the instead of going through the format, instead of going to the macro button and clicking on run. I'm going to use the shortcut which I've assigned to my macro. I will press Ctrl Shift N. It will also run the macro for me because I've recorded the steps. I've recorded the steps with a macro, so I can always use the macro. Even if I go to a new worksheet and I have phone number that I type on a new worksheet and I want to format the phone number. If I click on the phone number and I press Ctrl Shift N, it will also format it for me because I've recorded the steps in Excel with a macro. That's how to record the macro in Excel. My name is Akere Le Oluwa Shibu. Thank you for watching my video.